Hey, what's up? This is Chosen. Happy Thursday to you. And it is a launch day for a new Fragment event here with Walking Tomb Drang. And then also going to be doing a gem giveaway in this video. So stay tuned. I'll get to that right away. We also have a promo code that you're not going to want to miss for free resources in game. So what we're going to do here is all of the giveaway and free type of stuff right at the beginning. Then we're also going to go over the Fragment event calendar so you can help plan effectively for your journey towards getting Walking Tomb Drang, and then we're going to go over playing, uh, posting the official patch notes for patch 5.70 and everything you need to know heading into the weekend, including the 2x voids, so that you are all set for the next few days on Rage Shadow Legends. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so as we get into the promo code, I want to let you know how to win some gems right away. Super simple. All you got to do is leave a comment with your user ID down below. Your user ID you can get by going up on the top left, clicking info, and it is going to be the player ID up there with the UM number. So if you're a subscriber to the channel, click the subscribe button down below and then post a comment with your player ID and poof, you are added into the giveaway. It takes three seconds and you are set. You can copy and paste it right here with the copy ID so that you can have it on your clipboard instead of trying to type this out. And that is all you have to do. So we're gonna pick five winners of 540 gems. I'll try to do this live on stream like tomorrow or so. And the way it works like that is if you post your comment, uh, I don't even have to get in touch with you. I don't have to message you on Discord or confirm anything. I can literally just give the winners to Plarium and and then they will send the winnings to your account. And you don't have to worry about posting this ID. Uh, I'm putting mine out there for the public. Uh, no one can do anything with this or affect your account or anything. So uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and then leave your user ID down below and we will get you entered to win 540 gems. But now I wanna talk about this promo code that we've got added to the game here. So all you need to do to get some free resources is go to the three bar menu over here on the left, click promo codes, and then we are just going to type return and boom there we go you can see that we got a decent amount of uh, resources there we get some multi battles uh so three days of xp and then uh some energy right here 999 energy so do not miss out on going into promo codes and then typing in return so you can get a little bit of free resources and now let's go ahead and pull up the fragment event calendar for a walking tomb drang. Now, uh, everything looks kind of on the surface. Let me get my pen here. Everything looks on the surface pretty normal. You've got the 155 fragments available uh, with, with, with the breakdown here of the uh, tournaments and the, and the leaderboards and then the events going on with the tournaments and events right here. So uh, really nothing super noteworthy to uh, to prepare you for, but uh, what you want to do is plan your next few days. You're going to be focusing energy on the Dragon Tournament and Champion Training, and then this weekend for Champion Chase is going to coincide around 2x voids, which is exactly what we predicted. We had that crazy 10x last weekend with like Duchess and Krisk and, and all these amazing champions. And then it flip flops from 10x to 2x this weekend, which means next weekend here on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you know, over in here will be more 10x events that we'll find out about uh, here in about four or five days. And I'll get you a video talking about that because the toughest, um, the toughest fragments to get in this are going to be the champion chase fragments right here and these summon rush fragments right here. Those are the ones that involve shards and shard management and pulling the right amount. Uh, you know, to min max, getting the uh, the fragments per shard and all of that. So uh, focus on getting every single fragment you can on your stuff, like your spider tournament, your dungeon divers, artifact enhancement, because you're gonna want to be set up to uh, to not have to worry as much about some of these tougher fragments that are in the shard events. And if you go under the tournaments tab, you will see there is a champion chase tournament countdown that should basically correlate with when 2x voids is going to launch in game you'll see the portal aesthetic beaming to the sky and your 2x voids will be live for this weekend you can't really go wrong pulling for 2x voids especially if you're early or mid game because you still need to acquire so many of those epics like see your man eater and uh there's a lot of void legendaries that would still be game changing for your account there's an argument to be made once you get to late game you want to save up for special 10x events like a 10x for siffy or crisk or something or some sort of guaranteed event where you can get more value for your shards. But that's going to depend on each one of your accounts a little bit differently. Uh, and the 2x voids should be starting tomorrow sometime, correlating with the fragment event going on this weekend.
And on Polarium's official Discord, they did put out an announcement here this morning, uh, officially today on July 7th, 2022, detailing the exact uh, things coming in update 5.70. If you are an astute member of the Rage Shadow Legends community, you already know all the stuff. There really isn't a whole lot new in here. They've been talking about it behind the scenes on Discord and, and letting content creators get info to put out videos about this stuff. Uh, but you, you know, we'll get in. Uh, I'll show you live in game the Master Vault. I did a dedicated video, or not the Master Vault, the Reserve Vault. I did a dedicated video breaking down the resources and the cost. We'll go ahead and confirm in game here really quick uh, if it's exactly the same as what I did in my video because I did do that on the test server. Uh, the hex debuff update coming through should be a lot of fun to get in and test. There, you know, hex doing some cool things like ignoring defense and getting a much sorely needed update uh, to make hex just a little bit more viable uh, than it was in the current state of the game. And we are also getting a brand new skin for one of the most iconic champions in raid, uh, which is Kale. So let's check it out really quick. You go under KO, you click champion uh, skins, and then we've got the Scar Whip Masquerade skin. Um, I really like this. I think this is new uh, and different, but very true to, uh, to to Kale's theme here as a champion. So uh, as a dark elf. Yeah, it looks very cool. We've got completely different colors shifting from the blue and the purple up here to the red and the white and kind of darker theme here. So yeah, really cool uh, Kale skin. I think they did a pretty good job on this. And then back to the post, we've got the advanced quest change where the use one Hydra key, that was a hot topic that people hated that advanced quest. Uh, it's now going to be five silver keys as a reward for the Doom Tower instead of 10 gems. And then the champion rebalance, we've gone over some of this stuff uh, as well. There really uh, wasn't a whole lot of big stuff in the uh, balance. Making Jingwan a little bit better was definitely needed. And then Cupidus and Venus are going to be a very powerful uh, duo with Venus being more consistent and Cupidus getting all sorts of uh, rebalancing. They could be uh, really fun to try out, especially in the context of like a Hydra or something in tandem if you had both of them. But uh, that pretty much details uh, some of the stuff. So now I want to dive in to showing you the vault and we will compare it to the numbers that I was teasing you uh, from the test server. So, all right, here we go. You, you go to your champions tab in game and then behind me, if I pop myself down on the bottom left of the screen, you will see champion vault. You click there and then you'll have your choice between the master vault and the reserve vault. So uh, we went over the numbers uh, on the right side that you see there. Uh, let's see if it is exactly the same in game. We've got 10 slots for 96K and uh, oh, so... It looks like it is different. Okay, well, I wish we would have known that. Uh, I'm gonna have to put out a video uh, correcting that. This is why you confirm stuff. Looks like the silver is unchanged, but the uh, but the gems are a little bit different. Okay, so let's go ahead and chart that really quick here. And here we go. The last slot here uh, at 10.4 is 376. And boom. Okay, so uh, now that does change the totals a lot. But if you were watching uh, during the during the time lapse there of me doing it, um, I actually still used silver. Um, but I'm glad the gem cost came down a lot because it was way too expensive. I mean, it's still too expensive. Uh, but uh, you know, uh, me personally, since I you know I've been playing for like three and a half years, uh, the, the silver is a lot easier for me to replenish at this point than the gems. So I am going to spend the silver because I, I happen to, to to have enough right now to go ahead and do it that way uh, i think for for most players uh, that are end game they'll probably end up choosing the silver route but for you to make your own individual decision that is the breakdown over there on the right the actual in live change in game is going to be t uh, 104 million silver for all slots in the reserve uh, vault and 4536 gems and this is a huge update to the game for people that are very endgame and filling out their faction wars, uh, guardians and stuff like that, because we just need so many champions on our account for everything going on in game. So getting 300 extra spaces is definitely a needed change. Just one thing to uh, remind you of is you have to have champions with no gear going in here. If you try to place a champion in the reserve vault that is currently wearing gear, you will get the opportunity to either destroy the gear they are wearing or remove it all for a silver cost in order to place them 
in the vault. So you can't use uh, the reserve vault as like a Diablo 2 mewing, uh, mewing mechanic where you put a bunch of gear on somebody uh, to hold on to it and then store it in the reserve vault. You have to put them in there as a naked champion that is wearing nothing. Then as we transition to the tournaments and events, we talked about it a little bit, so I can quickly kind of cover this. You should know the drill here uh, for the next couple of days. We're going to be focusing our energy on the Dragon Tournament, and the ones that you see the artwork that have Drang on them uh, are going to be the ones that coincide. That You've got the Drang with the two swords crossed. That are going to be the ones you want to focus on, spending your energy on the Dragon Tournament, enough to get 2250, which is perfectly normal. That's what it usually is, and then you want to keep track if your group is winnable uh, to get in the top two, to scoop up some bonus fragments, because remember, we want to get all the fragments we can that are outside of the events that require shards, which uh, the Champion Chase one is going to launch tomorrow. And we've also got Classic Arena, so start uh, preparing your tokens to take that down. Those are usually uh, some of the easier ones as long as you are uh, consistent about refreshing and checking the arena. And then also uh, Champion Training with any extra energy that you have uh, besides what you are dumping into the Dragon. You're going to want to make sure you get down to probably 6,500 to scoop up the 10 because uh, like I said, you want to make sure you're set up uh, to avoid some of the, uh, the the shard requirements. And then you also want to finish up your fusion warm up by simply upgrading an artifact to level 12. I think I believe literally any artifact in the game, if you just go in and upgrade something to level 12 really quick, you should get your, uh, your progress for the day. I keep all mine pretty upgraded. So it's a little bit rough uh, for me to find something I, I can even upgrade to level. Uh, oh, here we go. Can upgrade this one to level 12 and then boom and there we have got uh our event complete for the day you can see here that you go back and you will have the red dot that's all you gotta do is upgrade something to level 12 to finish that real quick and collect some free stuff and let's quickly take a peek if uh there's anything that i would be super hyped about plugging to you guys or talking about uh, no, we've seen that a bunch of times. Purchase them at a three means I already know and recognize that it's not that great. The month we know the drill on some of this stuff. Uh, these energy, this looks perfectly for what we see. And it grades out as about a 1.8 or so. Uh, not amazing, but all right for higher spenders. And then the divine speed set isn't going to make sense for, uh, for most people. So, uh, yeah, good luck on your fragment summon, uh, event here going for Drang. And I know some of you maybe aren't super hype about him he, he doesn't seem uh to be getting received as well as like helicath and some of the better uh ones they've done but i uh, i mean he's all right he, he's not too bad and uh I, I always recommend scooping up uh new champions whenever it makes sense for you to do so uh because you never want to regret it later on down the road and even if you can't finish it uh even just getting close you'll be able to uh possibly get him in the future plarium has done uh fragments as part of like tournaments and events before so uh even if you don't finish or even if you don't have the money to like buy the shards or or uh uh, or you end up uh, slipping behind the pace a little bit, definitely get whatever fragments you can towards progressing in the event. But I am going to head on over for a quick stream to uh, to say hi to you and kick off the uh, the Fragment Summit events. So if you would like to pop on over, we may, uh, we may actually do the... Uh, do the well no i'm gonna have to give people time to comment remember for the giveaway uh you want to post your user id down below and subscribe to the channel so that you are part of the drawing for 540 gems i want to give people time to uh to sign up so even though i am going to go stream really quick i'm not going to uh do it today live on stream we'll have to do that tomorrow or something and and pull it up and i'll let you guys know who wins so uh yeah if you'd like to pop over and say hi a link will be down below uh linking you to twitch uh where i will be live for a little bit to say hi and that does it for me on this one as always, thanks for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.